Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Today's question is bitwise and of numbers range. If you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing. We solve a lot of interview questions on this channel and that can definitely help you with your interview. The question says, given a range m n where m is greater than 0, n is greater than m and n is less than 21474836472. Return the bitwise and of all numbers in this range inclusive so we are given with a range 5 7 if you see at example number one and we need to take a bitwise and of all the numbers in this range and we need to return the output so let's move on to pen and paper let's see how we can solve this question after that we will see the code so i have taken a range from 9 to 12 and the question says we need to perform a bitwise and through whole range inclusively so we also need to include 9 and 12. What is the simplest and easiest way that we will take out all the numbers between these range 9, 10, 11, 12 and we will perform AND. And at the end, whatsoever we will get, we will simply return it. So let's see it with the example. So 9 will be represented as 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1. 10 will be represented as 0 0 0 0 1 0 1 0 and 11 will be 0 0 0 0 1 0 1 1 and 12 will be 0 0 0 0 1 1 0 0 and the similarity is this number is same from here to here so what we will do we will make an end and after making an end what will it become because we have 0 here so we will get 0 here, 0 here, 0 here. So simply we will get 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0. And again, when we have 0 in these three parts, doesn't matter what we have here, it will automatically convert them to 0. How? Let me take another example. So I am making a end of this and this. So I have 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1. So what will be the end? 0, 0, 0, 1. 0, 0, 0, 0. Why? Because we have 0 and it will automatically return 0. Same with this number. If I will do the end with this number, let me do it for you. And again, it will become 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0. So, what we are doing here? We are simply taking the end. But this is not an optimal way. Because it is okay for a small range. What if we have a very big range? And what we get from here is, if you look at this prefix and this part, it is same in first number, last number and then the answer. So if we can come up with some way in which we can get the maximum prefix, and then we can do something. In this way, it can be really easy. And to do that, what we can do, we can make a right shift. So we will make a right shift of this number this and this till the these numbers are same or till the time 9 is less than 12 we will keep making the right shift and at the end by how many times i made it the right shift we can make a left shift by that number and we will get the result let's see it with an example 9 and 12 And the binary presentation will be this for 9 and for 12 it will be 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0. I am saying make a right shift by 1 for both the numbers. And we need to stop when this number is equal to this number after we make a right shift. So we will keep making the right shift till the time m is less than n we will keep making a right shift so what we will do so for now 9 and 12 we will make a right shift and after making a right shift my answer will become 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 0 so we made a one shift to the right and my 12 will become 0 0 0 0 1 1 0 so my 9 will become 4 and my 12 will become 
six. I again will make a right shift by one on both the numbers. So zero 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 one zero 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 one one. Now my four will become two and my six will become three. Now again, I will make another right shift because two is still less than three. So we'll keep doing this until we have this condition. I will again make a right shift by one. So zero 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 one, and it will become zero 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 one. Now this will become one and this will become one. So now these both are equal to each other. And whenever we are making a right shift, we will take it as a count. So this is the one first time we did it. This is the second time, and this is the third time. Now what we will do, we will whatever number we will get here, we will make a left shift by the count three. So if I make a left count, so it will become zero 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 one zero zero zero, and this is exactly similar to this number, and the it will be equal to eight, and same here it will be equal to eight. So this is a very easy way. What we can do. we will take a while loop while our first number is less than the second number we will keep making a right shift for both of them and we will keep incrementing the our count and at the end we will simply we will simply make a left shift by the number of count to our smaller number and it will give us the result so let's move on to the coding part and let's see what is the code for this problem so let's see the code At line number three, I made a variable count, which is zero initially, and while m is less than n, so what I am doing, I am making a right shift to m by one, and same with n, and I am adding one to my count every time I am making a right shift. And at the end, what I am doing, I will making a left shift on m by the count. And in this way, I will get my answer. So let's check whether it works or not. So here I submitted my code, and it got accepted so this was the solution for this problem if this video was helpful to you please give it a thumbs up thank you so much guys for watching the video please don't forget to subscribe